Hey guys, so it is Saturday and me and my daughter decided that we wanted to do a buddy read. So we are here at our local library. We actually have to renew her library card. So we were just like, what better time than now to renew the library card plus pick out a book to buddy read. She wants to buddy read and then she says she wants to go like to a local coffee shop and discuss the book. So it's kind of like a book club. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys inside. Twenty twenty six. Yay! Every two years. Is right. these bookmarks? Yes, they are. You want a bookmark? Yeah. This is cute. You like that one? All right. I need Hopefully, we'll get some. I hope we get some more in soon because we haven't been getting new. No. <laughs> she doesn't like that. This one is kitty. That's cute though. So they have three cards. That you can actually buy books from which is so cool and is pay what you want lots and lots of books This is not what I came in here to do, but let's see what they got. <laughs> she wants to read and she says something with some suspense she says she wants a thriller i'm like okay girl that's right up my alley so we are going to find some type of book that has a thrill for her um yeah So it looks like we found a book. Looks like we found a book. How many pages is in here? 185, that's pretty fair, what you think? So we need to put these back, the ones that we're not gonna. Kind of forgot where they go. <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah. That's why I like to read the books, you know, standing next to the bookshelf. That way I can my use feet my, my feet hurt too. You guys, we've been in the yard all day doing yard work, so our feet is hurting and we're kind of tired. 
but I wanted to renew her library card and come get a book and before. I want some pizza from Little Caesars. Oh, we getting pizza from Little Caesars for sure. But we stuff that in my mouth. That pizza. Her other choice was this one. So we're gonna do the Black Water Swamp by Bill Wallace. And she wanted something with suspense. So this one gives that. And pretty fair. So ooh, this page is pretty tore. <laughs> So I'm gonna add this to my reading list for March. I'm probably gonna get started on it pretty soon. <laughs> um, you might need my books for that first part. That's ripped. <laughs> nah, the page is ripped, but it's not. The words isn't ripped. Part of the words is ripped. What page is that? Hmm. What page is that? 28, 27, 28. Hey guys, so it's like weeks later and me and baby girl is finally at a coffee shop getting ready to have our book discussion. So when I say weeks later, I mean, we've already returned the books weeks later. Um, But we tried this new coffee shop. It's called Ramblin Joe's Ramblin Joe's coffee if you guys live in Memphis this used to be mugging but I guess they changed companies um I have a salted caramel cold brew let me see yours baby girl has the Oreo frappe I forgot to tell them no coffee in her so she finna be wired 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 and then we both got chocolate muffins to eat on it's good that's the place so it's very good i took notes on the book um while i was reading because i ain't i'm gonna note. remember it all you remember it okay Ooh. so what i have here let's talk about the characters so ted uh-huh he i jimmy fake Jimmy was fake. Yeah, he, he wasn't a good friend. I have on here that Jimmy was not a good friend. He didn't care. Faker than the fakest of plastic. <laughs> so, Ted was the main character. And he was trying to find out about the, um, swamp witch. the Swamp Witch. And in the midst of doing that, he was trying to make friends as well. And try to be like cool or in the in crowd and so the friend that he ended up linking up with name was jimmy and he was terrible um he was a very very terrible friend i wrote that down here and he was not a good friend my friend said that he was being so rude that um they all wanted to gang up on him and be him <laughs> mm -hmm. and so i wish he was don's friend you remember don the one who liked to read and stuff and the one who asked for the book that Jimmy stole. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then it was Mr. Parson, the store clerk. Don't forget the little sister. Christine, the baby sister. <laughs> you said, I can relate to Ted because you'd you be like, watch King Ken, but with him is watch Christine. Mm-hmm. And then Bubba, that was Jimmy's cousin. Don't forget about his mom who put um, all the stolen stuff yeah, she you don't find out about the mom until the end, though. She put the finger... She put, like... He, so, Ted went into their garage trying to find... What was it, a ball? Yeah, so... The whole time, Ted is basically trying to get to the swamp so that they can see the swamp lady. And he tells, you know, certain people about the swamp and he decides to go out there on his own and find out by himself first of all i think he shouldn't have did that that's too scary 
No, is we gonna talk about how when the first time when he went with Jimmy, Jimmy just left him for dead? That's what I'm saying. He went with Jimmy, the friend that we said shouldn't be his friend. And Jimmy basically left him for dead. Um, if you had a friend like Jimmy, would you still be their friend? Heck no. Might I get my whole friend group on his tail. And what about Don? I could vibe with him. Don was so cool. He liked to read. He exactly your kind of friend. Now, the mom, she seemed to be very, very busy. <laughs> Literally. It reminded me of me and your brother when I'm asking you to, like, keep an eye on him while I do certain things and stuff. How did you feel about that? Her always asking him to watch Christine. Relatable. Do you think he was a good big brother? Do you think he was overwhelmed? Do you think the mom was wrong for asking him to help all the time? Um, she didn't do it necessarily all the time. She did take Christine to the hair salon. With, uh, but he, but he was very good at watching her. She ended up like playing the street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the baby sister ended up playing in the street. Almost got hit by Bubba's car. Yeah. That his dad kept complaining. Almost got hit by a car. Bubba drove the same kind of car as me. A Mustang. <laughs> what about when they were stealing from the store? You mean when Jimmy was stealing from the store? Yeah. So the whole time, Jimmy is stealing from the whole neighborhood. And the whole neighborhood is talking about it like the adults. And nobody knows that it's Jimmy and his good for nothing cousin stealing until Ted goes searching for his ball over Jimmy's house because he's supposed to be linking up with Jimmy to like hang out, right? And Jimmy taking forever. And whatever. Jimmy was taking forever to come. So he like, well, I'm going to just go to the house in the back, like the garage or whatever, and get the ball and go ahead and start playing with it. But then he goes back there and everything that was stolen throughout the whole neighborhood was in the garage. And just so that um, he won't snitch on anybody, the mom that was in on it the whole time, Jimmy's mom, put his fingerprints on everything. Yes. So they tried to blackmail Ted and was like if you tell anybody what you've seen or whatever we put your handprints on it so that it can seem like you were the one who stole all of this merchandise um they also said some really racist things yeah, I was going to ask you about that so how did you feel about the racial slurs and things like that that was mentioned in the book. How did you feel about that? Because I know this is the first time we've ever discussed something like that. So how did how how did you feel about that? Me and my friend was reading it, and we were both like, we about to gang up on this dude for what he be saying about mm -hmm. black people. Mm -hmm. He was saying they're good for nothing stealers or something like that. Mm -hmm. So if someone had said that about you. At school. Immediate punch in the face. Oh, you punch in the face? <laughs> well, you know if you punch them in the face, you're going to get in trouble at school. Okay, I'm just saying that. Okay. But I would be mad, though. And the fact of the matter is, times have changed, but racism has not gone anywhere. You're going to run into kids your age that are still raised by parents who are racist so they're teaching their children to be racist and it's really up to the kids on whether they want to choose that or not they don't know they have a choice though i mean not necessarily because but you have your own mind and you're not always with your parents so if you're at school, you don't have to be that way, you know, because your parents are not there. 
Um, I am ugly shaking. But in the... <laughs> She's cold. It is, I mean, it's a pretty day today, but it is chilly. But the, the, the whole... I didn't even take a picture of the summer, you guys. But the whole point of the book was the little boy was trying to figure out trying to go over to the swamp and mess with the swamp lady who turns out to just be a vet and the whole time they're thinking the swamp lady was this bad person because for one she was black and for two she lived in a swamp so of course you know all the voodoo and all of that so of course as kids you're like oh my god she's scary like oh my god y'all want to go see the swamp lady so of course they're trying to go over there and she's telling them like keep out from over here like don't come over here because really it's not safe because she's over there with wild animals and stuff bears even like when uh jimmy like left ted, ted for dead um he was caught up in vines and his, his mom was worried about him because he came home scratched up and everything mm -hmm. bleeding so it wasn't really safe for them to be but you know kids they don't care <laughs> they don't care they gonna do what they want to do so they were trying to get on the opposite side of the swamp just to go mess with the swamp lady well when ted found out that jimmy and his family stole all the merchandise from everybody in the city they were trying to blame the swamp lady for it it was like we're gonna blame her for it da, 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 da. And, and we're even... gonna put her in jail because for one they live in a racist town um ted is a navy brat and he moves around a lot and so i forget they was in some part of louisiana obviously the because of the swamp part of and kind of sound familiar don't it yeah and he what what he's experiencing in louisiana i think he lived in texas before he has never experienced before so racism and all of that stuff so he has a kind heart, a very, very sweet heart. And so when he finally finds out about the swamp lady himself, he's trying to save her. Like the whole city is trying to blame you and put you in jail for stealing all of this stuff. And I just wanted to come over here and save you. And so she kept telling him, don't come over here. It's not safe. It's bears, wildlife over here. They will kill you. Like he did not care. She was telling him, don't run, because if you run, then the bears are going to chase you and try to, you know, kill you and stuff like that. He did not care. So he still went over there. And then, you know, the friends and all of that was chasing, not the friends, but the enemies and all of that was chasing them. They got caught up because they didn't know not to run and stuff like that. And uh, he kept telling her, the police is on their way to come get you. And she was like, the police ain't for to come get me. The bears go get the police before the police go get me. She got them snappy turtles. She got them bears. She got the crows. Mm -hmm. She got all the spiky vines. Mm -hmm. She got the fog. Mm -hmm. She got that fake voodoo. Mm -hmm. They all think she a witch. Yeah. Ultimately, he saved. He did save her in a way. He made her aware that they were coming to get her. She already and knew. She already knew. Like, she needed his help. But she thanked him. He was gonna get in trouble because he was coming home super late at night. She took him home and she told, explained to his mom what happened and was like, your son is a very brave boy. Like he did some things that grown men wouldn't do. And I have a, I had a quote in there. <clears throat> if I took a picture of it, I put it in this video right here, but she was basically like, He's very brave to like even come out here. He did some stuff that grown men wouldn't do. Please don't punish him because he was he was doing right. He was not doing wrong. And so I really, really enjoyed this book. This was me and baby girl's first read together. Um, we actually just left from the library. She was gifted a book from her school. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, because y'all was leaning up against the books. But she was gifted a book from her school for helping. Was that why you got the book? Yeah, Miss uh, Miss Sums gave me a book because I had her put the computers away. Okay. 
So because she was helping like one of the teachers put computers and stuff away, they gifted her this book right here. It's called Tornado Brain. And it's by Cat Patrick. Um, I'm not gonna give you guys any information on this because I think I'm going to make another video. Um, but I went to the library and checked out a copy since she already has a copy. So this is gonna be our buddy read for the end of March, beginning of April. And I'm really excited about this one because it's a different kind of story and it's a, a kind of age story. I'm really, really enjoying the buddy reading with my daughter. And I highly suggest you guys do buddy reads with your kids too. Um, what we've been doing, like this is our second one, obviously, but the first one we y'all seen, we went and checked out the book at the library. I let her pick out the book, obviously, because it has to be more for her than it is for me. <laughs> and then um, we both see, we both check out a book. So we have to make sure, obviously, that it's enough copies for both of us to check out one. This time, I just went and checked out what she already has. So, yeah. I'm gonna finish up my muffin. I'm really hungry. I want some real food. <clears throat> And I'm shaky because I ain't had no real food. Yeah, she just left from the hair salon and she's been sitting there in the chair for like six hours, so she's very hungry too. I'm very shaky. And I have a virtual book club meeting with my book club um, here in about an hour and a half. We are meeting and talking about The House Made by Frida McFadden. So, yeah, we're going to end the video here. Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and pick up a book with your children and buddy read okay and if you already buddy read comment down below and let me know what books you guys have read because i definitely need some recommendations for preteen friendly books until next time peace out bye